Now a story that we broke first on WPRI.com. In his State of the City address, Mayor Angel Tavares announced that Providence is expected to finish this fiscal year with a balanced budget, but the city's auditor disagrees to the tune of about $11 million. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I would assume reporter Steve Nielsen is in the capital city. There's been a lot of confusion about this fiscal year's budget, so we went right to city leaders to get to the bottom of it. It's the tale of two cities in one administration. Earlier this week, Providence's Mayor Angel Tavares painted a rosy picture at the State of the City Address. Today, it is my privilege to deliver a much more hopeful report on the state of our city. We expect to end this year with a balanced budget. But just two days later, Providence's internal auditor went before the city's Ways and Means Committee, projecting an $11.2 million deficit for the fiscal year if changes are not made soon. And I think that's what he did last night was present a worst case scenario. City Councilor David Salvatore says it's no surprise to have different viewpoints on where the budget will end up. The number isn't supposed to be the same on both sides. However, uh, my goal is to open up now dialogue with the administration, put a plan going forward so that the ultimate goal is reached and that's ending the year with a balanced budget. The internal auditor's gloomy report all came down to assumptions. He's expecting a shortfall in the annual required pension contribution, property tax collections, fines and forfeits, and the new overnight parking program. Councilor Salvatore said if a budget deficit does happen, it's good it came up sooner rather than later. I would rather uh, start addressing it now than in May. And the mayor was unable to speak to us. Now moving forward, the Ways and Means Committee will hear from the city's finance director on Monday, so we'll see what his take is on this fiscal year's budget. Reporting from inside of Providence City Hall with the Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.